This video has my entire hard drive in it. Elden Degenerate is the Dark Souls Masochist's brand new adventure and my favorite game of all time. Developed by Japan from the software, it delivers a continuous and unrelenting stream of Holy Spirit approved suffering while simultaneously blowing your absolute mind. It's, it's so beautiful, like the perfect music to relax and fall to my death to. With legendary visionaries behind it, like Among Us director She Geralt of Rubia and Squid Game director Curious George, a vast, sprawling, and terrifying world awaits thee. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with... To delve these deadly domains and treacherous territories, we play as the Tarnished, a collection of heroic Nimrods tasked with being resurrected from the dead, having the previous step nullified, and repairing jewelry. I I'm convinced that, that every copy is personalized. This is what Miyazaki wanted from me. Now I will say, I have been a fan of the Dark series for quite some time, and while the installments have never ceased to captivate me, this one was just like, dear lord, do not let the graphics fool you. Most of the budget went into performance enhancing drugs. They actually chiseled out each character model by hand. Oh, and did I mention they added a horse? It's like Red Dead Redemption 2, but the dead is capitalized. Pillagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it rid upon thy meager grave. So let's take a look at the bucket list. Oh man, there's so many colorful characters to choose. There's a naked one. It, wretch. We're going wretch. I'm sorry. I mean, that's the right answer. It's, it's just what's gonna happen. <laughs> For this crazy and insane journey, we have to invent an equally ridiculous character, Dan Smith, BYU. Now to properly get introduced to the epic lore, we must first learn how to read. I got softlocked for unspecified reasons, so I got a highly trained researcher to do it instead. It was the primordial year of 2007. Queen America was working hard at smithing the world's first iPhone. But one day, during a heated game of word farm adventure, tragedy struck. When trying to spell the word matriarchy, she mistakenly smote the Elden screen with her outer stylus, shattering it into many minute fragments. Her son, Giorno the Golden, was the first to be slain by the shareholders. Ah. So, eons passed, and tensions between America's children grew higher and higher, each having claimed a different fragment. The mad taint of their newfound strength culminated in a catastrophic battle, historically dubbed World Warranty II. This caused several local warmongers, known as Tarnished, to arise from their student debt and factory reset the jailbroken. A few of these dummies included Joe Exotic, Baller of the Badlands, the Quora Answering Flatbird, Claimer of the Fish Eye Lens, and a man from Philadelphia. All of the Kokedi children were sound asleep. But heed my call, Lick, for I am sending you this fairy to be your guide. Go now, my young Sheldon Ring, and use your divine insurance to reunite what was once whole. The fate of the lands between. Depend on it. Yo, oh God, I think I left the stove on.
As Australopithecus emerges from his cave, we discover Limgrave, the first open area of the game. This is the easiest region, and he will be your tutorial. You see, this boss fight has a very simple trick to it, and that's to not lose. My physical well-being is already in constant peril, and the only thing that can make this worse is if my mental well-being was too. Greetings, Tarnish. Oh, God damn it. My name is Vare, and I have an important message to deliver to you from the Roaster's Council. The- what? L. Plus no clothes. Plus small club. Plus I know how to do math, you fucking- Plus bitches squared. What? Are you done? Your x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b You could not pay me to stand here any longer. He makes fun of us because Jennifer dumped me. So we go and meditate to clear on all of the negative thoughts. And suddenly one appears right in front of us. Greetings, Tarnish. I am Alina. Hey, how single you is? Actually, I'm Era. You can fly? I'll be your guide on this ridiculous fucking planet. Wait, we're, we're in space? I can level you up. Browse <laughs> files and tell jokes. This is getting a little bit too familiar. Hey, y'all, come look at this! One of the first things you might notice about Limgrave is how many desktop backgrounds you can make of this. Seriously, I've been playing for about 10 minutes and I've already taken like 3,000 killer pictures. The next thing that might catch your eye is all the local wildlife. We got goats. Oh my god, is that one rolling? They're aliens! They're real! Bears? Okay, we out here in Amish. Oh, 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 hi. <laughs> Bears squared. The, what the fuck? And several dogs. Yeah, buddy, I'm right there with you. But then they took away my shell. I aspired to be a clothes whisperer, but we always want what we can't have. Also, did I mention the frame rate? Yeah, no, it's real great. I already had like 30 tabs of Google Slides open anyways. Why not add another? I better turn down the graphics before my computer cancels me on Twitter. Wandering aimlessly, we arrive at our destination. We enter the disability dungeon. I call it that because we are disabled from entering. And say hi to Wal Maria. Taking a look at what cell and cells, it would appear that I'm probably not going to be using any of it. Grand Lens! Clean scores! So I bust out the classic FromSoft make a side character because this game has variety moves and become the prisoner of ass cabin. Say hi to Bungulus. Bungulus is really smart and likes to cosplay. Heading back to Selen, we buy her magicular spells. Now, as a trained Jedi, we can enchant our weapon with force magic and then we enchant ourselves with force skin. But we'll return to his story at a later time. Cat boys be like, you're such a nice. Neander, me, neander, th fall. I fucking hate myself. <laughs> Discovering a unique variety of locations. Oh, so this is a elevator. Uh, it's going down a little bit further than anticipated. I, it just keeps going. Bro. So we wake up and meet these two funny ske skeletons. I'm not doing this shit. But we do find a chest with a very unique reward. Uh... Crystal meth. So I'm transported to this funny-ass cobalt mine. Uh, uh, oh god. <gasps> Oh god, why am I here? I am going to die. Tomorrow? Oh. Oh, this don't look like Kansas. Similar to when man first saw the ocean, he took a step forward and said, Fuck, go back. So, I'm gonna address the elephant in the room and say, Yes, this place would be perfect to put a Dollar General. I wonder what the local ecosystem thinks of my construction endeavors. Hello, fellas. <laughs> They're just staring at me. Oh my god. <laughs> I have never been more intimidated. Welcome to Jurassic Hell. Initiate a wrong neighborhood protocol. This is the funny area. You can tell by how hilarious it is. You know that feeling when a stoplight turns yellow and you panic at the decision of whether to speed down or slow up? That is the same type of anxiety Caleb gives me. Except in this case, the light just went straight from green to red. This place is freaking crazy. Almost as crazy as my communication skills. Uh, hello. How was your day? Tell me in the comments how your day was. I hope the part where I stared at you through your window while you typed that wasn't unsettling. But you know what is unsettling? Giant fucking skull. Skulls protruding out of cliff sides, mangled and mired by the scarlet rot. Caelid has been transformed into a hellish mushroom scape, and just like naked and afraid, we either have to escape or adapt. Oh cool! Heroin! 
Holy shit. This is an equal parts awesome and terrifying. Mm, better horse my way out of this one. Hello, sir. Have you seen my dog? I'm afraid he may have wandered off too far into the mist wood. Yeah, cool. So you're that merchant, right? How many spare maidens do you have in stock? That is none of your conky business. This place is gonna actually make me put on clothes. Heading south, there's an all-out gang war between Team Quirky and Team Good Vibes. And they're not gonna stop until one side is completely unlifed to death. We are here to speed up that process. Even Bungulus is terrified. Oh my god! What the fuck are you? Is that blackface, dude? No, 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 no. You don't understand. I'm literally working at the pub. <laughs> They're so stupid. We dropping, where we dropping, boys? Man, Coachella sucks this year. <gasps> Puppy! Activating good boy mode. Who's a good boy? Oh, Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. Walls cannot protect you from the love that brews within me. Wait, can you attack the important character neutralized? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, gravity is on my side today. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this game so far. Exiting Horrorland, I tactically decide to continue the story. That's just how this game is. You open one wrong chest and you get kissed 10 hours goodbye. But first we meet our local pothead. <laughs> you, you good? Hey, Tarnished. Think you could help a brother out? I was, uh, just trying to hotbox in this giant jar, but being stuck in the ground sort of prevents you from getting high. Please, break me the fuck open. The air is getting a bit dense! Well, that didn't turn out quite as expected, but thanks anyway. Time to see if a demigod's strength can get me out of here. Surely, they'll understand the gravity of this situation. What a cool guy. So we tell him to go the direction we just came from to fuck with him. Like I said, morally gray protagonist. Tarnished. Please give me your finger. Yeah, sure. Wait, what? Why? I can tell you your fortune if you could tell me my temperature. Ah! Hi. Ah! This is why I have trust issues. Welcome to the Brown Table Hold. Here you meet a colorful cast of characters, such as Disquarius Edward Emporio Ezekiel, the Infinitius, also known as D, and his vestigial twin, and Low IQ Man, someone so stupid he couldn't figure out how to use the wheel. Over on the eastern flank, Dan Smith visits the Blacksmith, a barnacle-based brother who upgrades your funny sticks. It's, it's Dracula. This one's just Dracula. And on the western flank, we meet the mastermind, Sir Lydian, the Gaslighting! Tarnish, Tarnish, turn on the TV! They hit the Erd Tree! Oh, wait, what? They hit the fucking Erd Tree! They did it, man! Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> no. Your next mission involves infiltrating Stormvale Castle and slaughtering your first demigod. Yeah, hang on, I just recently discovered what clothes are and you want me to kill a god? After that, you should be good to assassinate your next ten targets. Powerful entities capable of immeasurable destruction and owners of numerous great runes. Your objective is to steal these runes and repair the shattered Elden Scroll. Engine of reality and all worlds creation. Are, are, are you gaslighting me again? <laughs> Tarnished. I gaslight my friends as a sign of trust. That doesn't make any sense. The bastard took my clothes. Walking forward, we get ensnared in a cutscene trap. Damn bitch. No, it's Dan Smith. Snooping as usual, I see. In search of the Elden Screen, emboldened by the flame of ambition. Let it be I, Margaret the Fell, to void thy warranty. Margaret the Fell is quite the, uh, quite, quite the, uh, quite the bitch. Especially for being the f This is the first boss. Stop causing problems. Problems causer. This boss is commonly known as the wake-up call for new players. Because he hits like an alarm clock, you better mug get the fuck out of my goddamn way. Out of frustration, I switched to totally the same character who thinks this is how fishing works. Because nautical nonsense is something I wish. Oh. Alright, well, how about- we just, <laughs> It just uh, immediately turns around. Good on here. Yeah, I was gonna say. You were not expecting him to just instantly turn around and whack you. <laughs> and just be all like, good luck, we're all counting on you. Alright, that's it, I'm gonna pair you. I mean, you can try. Fuck. <laughs> you. Oh yeah. He actually notices when we attack him now. Are you out of healing? 
Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Faster than my dad's belt, what the fuck? Oh, I should not have summoned that fucking guy. <laughs> it makes his health uh, bigger. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, okay, we gotta deal with the health. Wait, what? No, I, I, I'm jumping off. Of I'm out. I'm, 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 <laughs> no. That, that hurt me too much. That, that hurt. Margaret uses a cane because of his old age, and he'll often wind up in overhead newspaper attack. His attacks are fast, but I can explain faster, and after many gruesome examples of me not learning how to give up. Hey, Tarnished! You know what's funny about ladies? Oh, is this the part where you say I'm maidenless? Ladies, foolish ambitions to rest! <laughs> he aggressively unplug his life support, causing him to die instantly. Ah! Help! I've Margaret the Fallen! And I can't get- ah! He's more gone. Exfiltrating the boss arena, we enter Casa de Stormvale, where the wind is rough, but luckily they invested in Surya, roofing tiles. As a guest in this illustrious institution, I will tilt every painting, I will raise every toilet seat, I will walk every dog, and worst of all, I will mention the IRS to the butler. Hey, Tarnished, come here. I got a small favor to ask of you. Keep quiet about the golden crusted faucets? Sure thing, bro. That'll be about 50- Employee evaluations the next week, so I need you to kill my boss. Oh, we're going that route, okay. <laughs> implying that he needed to ask. This is one of the larger legacy dungeons, and a fantastic one to start out with, especially the unique enemy variety. Oh my god, guys, look, it's me. Burn up. It's literally me. We're so much alike. They won't even see me. Except this one's only 50% as annoying. Yeah, see, those are good, but they, like, don't stagger at all. Oh my god, it literally does- That's- that's the cypher pasta for you. I thought, like, okay, at least when you mean stagger, I- <laughs> I want to go down there. I do. <laughs> oh, he has a scream attack? Two can play at that game. Oh, hey, it's the detective. Hello, traveler. I have a long and important oh, side oh, quest oh, no. for you. Oh, shit. <laughs> get away. All right, bring it on, motherfucker. That's right, I'm gonna get... Stop. No. I'm gonna turn this pot shop into a crack shack. Dragon, dragon on the pole. Who is the quirkiest of them all? Oh. An intruder, you say? Well, let's show this runt how we deal with insubordination around here! Oh yeah? You in what army? Oh shit. Here we are at Diary of a Lonely Tarnish. Godric rules. And according to this graft, he seems pretty, uh, <laughs> difficult. He'll ask you not one, but multiple questions. Do not worry, however, because you have plenty of time to answer. His attacks are, uh... To combat this, we inject him with this new deadly drug that's been hitting the streets. It's called Steel. Not. Even. Once. Look at how raggedy he is. Bro, the CEO hella stank. He got the Elon Musk. It's fun to think about how severely messed up this guy is. This is the kind of shit you wouldn't want to see on a Reddit 50-50 challenge. This man is so passionate and creative with his surgeries. All of his medical procedures came to him in a dream. It is not recommended to eat lunch while watching your friends fight this boss. God damn it, now it's everywhere. Uh, uh, I need your help here. Whoever designed these fucking okay. fruit cups hated humanity. <gasps> about halfway through the fight, he gives himself a hand jar. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, this dude's not joking. <laughs> Shareholders, one and all, bear witness. Okay. Hey, tarnished. You know what's funny about dragons? Oh, no, you fucking don't. No, you don't. Dragon D's not. This motherfucker never restocked the vending machines. There are cobwebs where the Mike and Ikes used to be. After defeating Demi Godric, we're greeted with the next part of the map. Lehernia of the Lakes. And I'm filled with this sudden sense of wonder and intrigue. Brace your eyes. Whoa, bro. Wait. So, welcome to the next part of the map. <laughs> this is the next part? Yup. <laughs> hey! 
No, don't say hey. <laughs> and my breath has been thoroughly taken away. Help, I am choking. I'm gonna die. So we encounter this random blind lady and give her some prosthetic eyes. In exchange, she points us in what she probably thought was the right direction. I'll cut her some slack. New hairline, who dis? I guess you just unlock him as a merchant if you donate. <laughs> hey, Vsauce, Michael here. I, I <laughs> I've always been a pretty adamant defender of open world games. And beautiful vistas like these are why. They got everything right in regards to world design, even the crawfish. So oh, what the hey, fuck, no. This situation is complex in its simplicity. Ah, oh god, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. And if you think jumbo lobsters are scary, imagine dragons. <laughs> I just wanted the key. You don't have to get all like this. There's even a meth dungeon close by. Nobody! Move this on the south! Valid with me, bitch! We also gotta watch out for the Eye of Sauron's. Oh god. I, I think I found an undead PTA meeting. On the left -hand side of the lake, there's an all-out gang war between Team Silly and Team Stupid. And they're not gonna stop until they fucking win. Now do we even get to meet the Brethren? Brother! Bro, these things are fucking weird. Brother, 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 Their brother, eyes are brother, huge. Brother, brother, brother. They look brother, so brother, funny. Brother, brother, brother. We're entering the birth defect of brother. the oh, Jesus, brother. Brother. they're big. Inbreeding. Oh, God. I've come to the realization that this whole place is just Florida. Greetings, Tarnished. I am the Pitbull of the church. Oh, dear God. I hear there's plenty of childs gathering over in that there castle. Wait, so you're a Pitbull and a priest? Doesn't that kind of make a double negative? You should be running away from children. Oh, yes. I'll just run away from them with my nimble Usain Bolt. Legs. Yeah, all right, I get it. Jackass. As Dan Smith continues his insanula quest, he finds himself at the Ethereal University of Leonia, where the tuition is randomized and the scholarships are shrouded in mystery. Nobody knows what the curriculum consists of, not even the scholars themselves. So it's up to our beloved adventurist to find out. For if there is one constant among all fields of education, it's death. Welcome to BYU. Yo, dude, it's got the Allier intro color scheme. The layout of this campus is the most complicated straight line I've ever seen. Like the part where you gotta pass through the graveyard where they bury the engineering majors. There are so many behind us. I'm gonna use my sort of student debt. Dude, this spell freaking sucks. Looking up where the cool armor is on Yahoo Answers because it wasn't in the lecture slides. Elden Ring, oh, Elden Ring. How drippy is your Elden Bling? And then we get to meet the world's most toxic service dog. I had to retake this boss a couple of times, plus a lot more. And I learned a couple tricks on how to streamline your beeline straight to the boss. So what you're gonna want to do is run past Professor Atkins and roll at a sick 30 degree angle towards this wall. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Knock over every books. These books are static and cannot be rolled into. Now how do I remember all of this useless shit? Uh practice. <laughs> Without them, you could purchase anything, says my Amazon <laughs> Echo as I stare at my family. <laughs> Be late. This has to be room 306B. What the? Yo, the disabled orphan convention is in town. Watch the fuidas grow in the pod. What? Alright, class, sex ed week. We're gonna be talking about the fetus. Welcome to class. We're wishing to go on a normal field trip is the least of your worries. We have come for your lecture. Get the fuck out of my class! Queen Renala of the Full Moon is a rather visually appealing boss fight, and 100% not because she has humongous feet. This was a deliberate choice made by the designers. It's their fault, not mine. I no longer see children. I think that's a good thing. They, they got adopted. Lady, you're about to make a grave mistake. Are any of you shitheads gonna help me do the fucking dishes? After distracting exactly three of her children from their pipe bomb crafting lessons, she hilariously falls and is unable to get up. Smack her over the head with a ruler to see how she likes it. Until after school suspension occurs. <laughs> Wait, what? Whoa, Tarnished. Looks like you fucked up. To fix it, try one of these simple life hacks. Life hack number one. Die.
After defeating the Frizz, we gain access to literally no joke the absolute best incentive FromSoft has ever added in a game, and that is the ability to freely recustomize your character. This is too much power. They finally learned what 50% of people play these games for. So out of obligation and a small dose of sentimentality, I'm gonna do a boss rush for all my Magnus tier patrons. McJabba69. Gonna be quite the strong lad. Lots of health on this boy. Backdoor Sluts9. Uh, I'm thinking a bit more gothic. DJ Nasty Gamers012. The fuck is wrong with you people? Knackass the sixth. He has a lot of blood inside of him. Tracer L. Mixpedius Blueford. My Sonic OC. Vexus. Comes from an alternate version of Texas where they developed common sense. And lastly, Psychomon. He has a bowl cut. Thank you all lovely people. So after checkmating the queen, there are two more directions for us to head. One road leads us high up above the clouds. And I'm not taking the elevator this time. Who the fuck's in stairs? And one lies far below into the treacherous nest. I can't tell if this would be Coyote Peterson's nightmare or wet dream. <laughs> Abyssing the catacombs, we discovered this cave's caveat, a mere portent of failures to come. Oh, I think I found where all the fluid disposal bins at the airport leads to. <laughs> don't drink the jungle juice. Oh god, oh, there's items down there. I don't have to go down there. Bro, it's cute. I don't even want to kill this one. It's adorable. What is happening, AC family? Hey, you. Oh, jeez. Imagine buying a treasure map that just leads to a museum. <laughs> all the alarms go off. Oh god. <laughs> Chris, Chris Angel 2.0. We can sneak past him. Yeah, you gotta sneak up on him so we can drug him like racehorses. Inject them with sleepium. Oh god, no! Would you like to upgrade to Windows 10? No, no, no. They're, they're never gonna know it hit him. As in, we're gonna confuse them to death. Preserving the copter is a delicate art. Yo, yeah, he becomes so aerodynamic. This is so smart. Dude, these motherfuckers <laughs> still think windmills yeah. are gonna power the Midwest. So we finish exploring 2% of the underground map, and scale the precipices, and we're greeted with the most okay boss I've ever seen. Alright, we gotta kill this dude. The bastard stole my car. Whoa. I don't remember the sky looking like that. This is such a golden experience. Why is there- Oh my god, there's trains everywhere. What the hell, this is like really neat. I guess I just like- yeah. Oh, Jesus, dude, it's been like 30 seconds. Behold Altus Plateau. At this point in the game, it becomes quite apparent that the regions of the map are arranged by color. We got the green area, the blue area, the, <laughs> the mall area, and now we arrive at the urine area. A gilded landscape filled with regal reamings and unexpected appearances. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, I'm sick and tired of you. Zoinks, I don't know about this one, Scoob. I, I, don't, I don't think I want to take off the mask to see who these guys really are. I'm perfectly fine letting it remain a mystery. Heading north of Altus, we find Dominula Village. Oh, fuck. The letting windmills power the Midwest. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Here we find one of my favorite recurring bosses, the Foreskin Imposter. <laughs> The Ku Klux Klan! <laughs> Known for his epic music and having a very flexible schedule. Oh, 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 <laughs> yep. this, this is not normal! That's not normal! Yep, they, they tend to do that. After escaping the ghost club, we find a bridge with a man. Oh god, no, not you two! Oh wait, no, he, never mind, he's just pointing. Okay, that's weird. The screen's getting all like zoomed in whenever I look straight at- God, that's bizarre. Finally entering the giant doorway with arrows and signs pointing towards it, we're greeted by some old friends. Hey guys, I'm here for the convention. <laughs> Sorry about what happened to your brother, but in my defense, it was really funny. Bitch is trying to tell me I have dementia. Uh, I don't remember asking. At the far end of Walsina, we meet the fourth horseman of the Bra-pocalypse, and he's a little bit, uh... Attentive. Dude, what this ain't Monster Hunter, and this might be the first part of the game. I genuinely struggled a lot- Struggled? Struggled? Struggled a lot at. What the fuck? To combat this, I hatched a grand scheme on how I could just not fight this boss instead. Revisiting Renala, we can spend a singular orphan larva to reset our skill points. I'm specking into faith because I'm a believer that this game is bullshit. In Limgrave, there's a peculiar insect that grants you the stink. We are now able to execute operation. I'm really tired. Okay, he, he doesn't see me. You, you don't see me. Th they're gonna morph me out. Pre just pretend I'm not Alright, trust me, this, this is the idea of a generation. Oh god, oh god. 
Oh god, he's right there. You, why? No, you suck. This is definitely the face of someone who would do this shit. No, don't walk back. I hate you. Oh, oh, oh my god. I made it. I just, I gotta hide. <laughs> huh. What is this peculiar smell? Must be a gas leak. That's a weird looking wall. Oh shit, that's the tree. There it is, the glorious Amber Heard tree. It's, it's so magnificent. This is the coolest fucking game ever made. Where will our morally gray protagonist find himself next? Likely somewhere worse. Meth, probably speaking. Find out next time on Onion Ring.